Hey, what's up guys? Evil Variety 94 back with another action figure review. And we're looking at the final Star Wars The Black Series figure from this wave. We have the Return of the Jedi Admiral Akbar. But I don't know if we're calling this Series 1 now or if we're calling it Series 30, whatever we're at now, counting from all the older waves from the past ever since Black Series started. Um, but this is the new box design. Uh, so this is series one of the new box design and this is the final figure i've reviewed all of them so far so be sure to check out all of those reviews if you missed out on any of them here's the image on the side and on the back side we just get the same image with a read of and somebody asked me if these are numbered just like the other black series and they are but every single figure i've seen has number one so i don't know why they all have the same number maybe that means it's series one and they're not numbering each one individually, or maybe they're numbering number one of Return of the Jedi, and then number one of uh, Clone Wars, number one of Empire Strikes Back, and all that. I don't know, but we shall see, I guess, in the future if that number changes in Wave 2. The read-up on the back says, During the Battle of Endor, veteran Commander Admiral Akbar oversaw the Rebel attack, coordinating with Starfighter operations led by Lando Calrissian and Wedge Antilles. So I do believe they made an Admiral Akbar before, I just never purchased it. If I am correct, I don't, I, I can't recall. Might have been a two-pack, I could be wrong, let me know. But I think this is the first time we get the Return of the Jedi original classic version of Akbar. And I think he looks great, I think the head sculpt is what wins it here. It looks exactly how he looked in the movie. He doesn't come with much though, he only comes with his blaster, but what else could he come with, right? Uh, so here's a look at the blaster, we'll just get this out the way. And it's just black with a silver paint at the tip. We've seen this sculpt before and it looks as good as it can be. So I'm fine with that. Here's a closer look at Akbar and the head sculpt. Looks good. The sculpt and the paint and the detail there. You can see those spots on his head. It looks real good. The eyes came out clean. I am pretty happy with it. Here's the back. And then the rest of the figure is just uh, white. We get a brighter white for the pants and then this softer yellowish white for the torso piece. And this doesn't, oh, it does remove actually, does it, does it, or does it not? I don't want to break that. It seems like it's, seems like it has a peg, but maybe they glued it in, or maybe I'm just not doing it hard enough. But anyways, uh, it is there, and it looks good. There's the detail there on the torso piece down to the feet. And as you can already see, we got some butterfly joints there that you've been implementing on all the newer Black Series figures. But only one hand holds the blaster, that's his right hand. His left hand is just an open, posed hand. Uh, so that's good enough. I don't think I ever really saw him using his blaster too much. Um, but he can hold it. Good enough for me. He's not going to be able to aim it down his sight, though. I know I've been testing that on all the new figures. When it comes to his articulation, he does have head movement. It goes up. And as you see, when you put his head up, his mouth opens up. You can... I think you can close, no, if you want to close the mouth, you got to move the head down a little bit. So, there's that. So, yeah, the jaw is articulated somewhat. It does get hindered by, you know, his collar here. Um, but, it's still cool that we get the articulated jaw. I'll take that. Uh, left and right is going to be even harder. He's just very limited on the, on the head movement here. So, it's a little tough there to get that movement going. Uh, but then again, you're not going to get him in any crazy poses although he does come with a butterfly joint that's a little deeper than um actually a lot deeper than Darth Vader's so that's pretty funny but there you can see he can just skydive if he wants to and then he can put his arms forward because of those butterflies and he can clap his hands pretty much so not too bad there uh, there is no bicep swivel but we do get a little bit of a movement there because of that socket and that butterfly joint single jointed elbow that bends at a 90 degree angle right here and then we get a swivel at that elbow swivel at the wrist with a regular hinge at the right hand and a regular hinge on the left hand here and I don't know if I pointed out but there's a lot of texture on his skin sculpted on there and it looks pretty good too I think I missed out on that when I did the close-up but just gonna point that out right now he does have a lower diaphragm ball jointed swivel so you can tilt like this left and right swivel Go back and forward, not too bad. This does kind of get in the way. It's a bit of a harder, it's a hard soft plastic if that makes sense. It's soft, it's pliable, but it's still pretty hard for it to, uh, you know, hold his 
pose or hinder his pose a little bit. Uh, the legs are going to kick forward. They're on T-jointed legs. So they kick forward about this far and back down. They go in and out. We have thigh swivels, single jointed knees that bend at a 90 degree. They swivel. Uh, and then we get the ankle hinge and the rocker at the foot there. There is no swivel. So here he is next to some other figures from the wave. We have the Stormtrooper and the Camino Clone Trooper next to him there. And next up I will get the Luke Skywalker Snowspeeder and the Empire Strikes Back Darth Vader also from this wave. Now throwing a few random black series we have the Luke Skywalker and Yoda from Dagobah and then we have the Captain Rex. And now we're getting really random with the Marvel Legends Spider-Man and the G.I. Joe Classified Beachhead. Alright, and that's going to wrap things up for this Admiral Akbar Stars the Black Series Return of the Jedi figure review. Nice, quick, and easy one here to end the wave. Again, friendly reminder, if you missed on any of my other reviews, I did Tebow, Camino Clone Trooper, Storm Trooper, Luke Skywalker, Mandalorian in Baskar armor, and Darth Vader. I don't think I'm missing anybody there. So I did everybody that came in this set. I think this is a solid wave. This is one of their best waves in a long time. Every figure here is just fantastic. Stormtrooper is 2 per case, so that's amazing. You get to army build the Stormtrooper if you need to do that. Camino Trooper is army builder too, but I don't think people are going to army build that one too crazy since it's just a Camino Trooper. Uh, I'm going to do a couple myself. But definitely not as much as the Stormtrooper. I'm, I'm going to try to build that one up a little bit more. Alright guys, let me know your thoughts on the entire wave. Let me know your thoughts on this Admiral Akbar. Leave a like down below. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. And as always, have a great day. Bye.